Right, good morning. Um, my new class starts on Monday and I think my blog might be neglected a little bit. Uh, I'll try my best to be very, very active on there, but I'm not 100% convinced I'm going to make it work. So I wanted to just talk to you about this. You've been seeing this all week. Um, let me get it out. Did it? This one, okay. You saw it yesterday and the day before. Um, now this is hopefully, I just like to think I'm doodling on here because I'm just adding what I want when I want. But I just can't help myself, I guess, because it's very cohesive. The fabrics are the same and the stitches are the same. Um, but I'm very much inspired by these cloths that I have lying around me. Now, this one was made in panels that were all joined together. But you'll see from this that there's things like wrapped rings on here and toggles um, and then little padded buttons on a ribbon and so what I'm thinking this is going to be a wrap for a book it's not um, for some samples so it's going to have to have an embroidered lining and on the lining I've spoken about this in a previous video I'm sure there's going to be strips of tape or something like fabric tape to attach samples to and then it'll be folded over like a book with ties to hold it together um, so there's a lot of work still to do on here so what I'm thinking is just embroider it and if my OCD kicks in and it ends up that I've just got tons of this stuff and it's all the same fabrics it's very cohesive then I'll come back and add little things to it maybe like toggles um, where's those toggles gone toggles and wrapped rings okay now this one just let me oh. This one was made in panels as well and then joined. So that's the big difference between the one I'm working on now and this one. This was panels as well that were then joined. Um, but on here, there's things like Suffolk puffs and dangly things like little pom-poms that have been added, um, buttons that dangle. So what I'm, like I said, what I'll do is I'll finish this, the embroidery on this, and then come back and add these other things to it, okay? Um, hopefully, hopefully. And then this one, again, this was just one panel. Um, I don't suppose this is a good example, but like pleating with fabrics on the top that are embroidered and then these massive oversized puffs on the edge. But I don't think for the purposes of wrapping, if this is gonna wrap samples, I don't think this is going to take those oversized puffs maybe down one edge maybe i don't know but i'll see when i've done it now at the minute it wouldn't hold very well for samples it's just one layer of silk but when the lining's on and the lining will be stitched as well it's going to take me forever because i've got to do this massive i've got to do this surface um finish stitching on it and then the lining will be the same size and even though it's going to have fabric tapes on it for attaching samples i'm still going to embellish it because i just can't help myself so so yeah but you might be seeing this very very regularly because i'm doing the class and i won't be able to show you what i'm doing in the class so that's what this was all about just a little chat so last night yesterday on my blog I took it off actually, I had a wrapped, hang on, a wrapped ring on it that I took off because it didn't look very good. Um, and I redid it, so it needs to go back on. So I'm already putting some of these on it. So I've got, I've made three of these so far. So I think I had this one somewhere over here. Um, so that was yesterday. What was new yesterday was that and that, okay, and that. Now today, what I was doing yesterday, last night, I put a strip of vintage lace on there and a plique a grandmother's flower garden on top of it and I'm doing bullion loops along here to secure it. Okay, like little rings, let me just show you. I might, I'll do one of them with you now. I need to put it in a hoop. Where's my hoop? So I'll move that. So there's holes along the edge of this vintage lace. Okay, I don't know if you can see them. Can you see like holes? So what I'm doing is coming up 
and I'm not doing them that way along there I'm doing them that way so I love them they're like little rings these are just 35 wrap ones okay and um, so I'll do one of them for you I mean somebody emailed me a few weeks ago now saying they can't master balloon knots they really can't they struggle 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 so to that person I've done so many bullion knots on video since then I really hope you you're perfect at them now let's hope let's hope fingers crossed so I'll wrap it 35 times I'll count it in my head and if I miss any you can count them as well if I miss any don't judge me them all down and hang on to them there but not too tightly because you've got to pull your needle through now okay and push them down and then go in there okay so that's that one and if I come up ready for the next one through that hole there so yeah so I just thought I'd explain to you why you're going to be seeing a lot of this and it may not look any different to the last time you saw it but I wouldn't show you it if it wasn't different. So search it and find the extra things that have been added to it um, since, since. And the other thing, so this, say uh, this applique circle here, the next one I do, I'm gonna leave it open like a pocket, okay? So I'm gonna turn it over and embellish the top, probably with button or stitch, and leave it open like a little pocket. So look out for that in the coming days and weeks, okay?